Hi all, welcome back to another video of NS Pharma. In today's video, I will talk about PCI approved syllabus of semester 1 of BPharm course. We know that BPharm is a professional course which is a 4 year long undergraduate program in the field of pharmacy. Here, students are introduced to various drugs and medicines as well as their effects, their uses, etc. The minimum qualification for admission into the BPharm course is the candidate should have passed plus two or higher secondary school examination with English as one of the subject and physics, chemistry, mathematics and or biology. There is a second method to enroll into the BPharm course that is through lateral entry. Here the candidate who have passed the diploma in pharmacy can enroll into the third semester of BPharm that is second year of BPharm. In this video, I will talk about the syllabus of BPharm semester one. This video will be very helpful for you. You can understand the complete syllabus of semester one of BPharm that is approved by Pharmacy Council of India. Here I will provide the PDF form of complete syllabus. For understanding, you have to watch the complete video. I am Naseem, you are watching NS Pharma YouTube channel. What are the subjects you have to study in the semester one of BPharm? The first subject is Human Anatomy and Physiology 1. Human Anatomy and Physiology 1. Theory paper is there as well as practical paper is there. So there are two papers for this one. Human Anatomy and Physiology 1. Theory as well as practical. What are the things we are studying in the theory paper? We have to do that one in the practical session. The second subject is Pharmaceutical Analysis 1. Pharmaceutical Analysis 1. Theory paper is the practical paper is also there. We will see each subject in detail once we finish with the name of the subject. Okay. Now we are going to the third subject. The third subject for your semester 1 is Pharmaceutics 1. Pharmaceutics 1. Theory as well as practical. The fourth subject is Pharmaceutical Inorganic Chemistry. Pharmaceutical Inorganic Chemistry. This is the fourth subject for your semester 1. These four subjects are called core subject. So the exam for this four core subject is conducted by corresponding universities. The other two, that is the fifth and sixth subject, the exam for this subject is conducted by your college itself and they will send the marks to the universities. So the fifth subject is communication skill. Communication skill. And the last subject is remedial biology or remedial mathematics. Here in mathematics, remedial mathematics, only theory paper is there. The candidate who have studied biology in the plus two or the higher secondary school, he should study the remedial mathematics in the semester one. And the candidate who have studied mathematics in the plus two, he should study remedial biology in semester one of BPharm. So these are the subjects you have to study for the semester one of BPharm. We will see each subject in detail. First one, Human Anatomy and Physiology 1, Theory Paper. What are the things we have studied in this paper? I will discuss the main topic coming under each subject. If you want to get the details, you have to download the PDF that I will give in the description link. So in the end paper of Human Anatomy and Physiology 1, you have to study structure and functions of various parts of the human body. Structure and functions of various parts of the human body. Then study about the cell, tissues and skeletal system then peripheral nervous system, then various body fluids like blood and cardiovascular system. These are the main topics coming under physiology and anatomy theory paper. One, structure and functions of various parts of the human body. Then study about the cell, tissues, skeletal system, various body fluids like blood, then peripheral nervous system, then cardiovascular system. Okay. Now we are going to the second part of the same subject that is practical part. In practical part, we have to study the compound microscope and microscopic study of different tissues, then identification of bonds, erythrocytic sedimentation rate, blood group identification, 
WBC, RBC count, blood pressure measurements, etc. So in practical part, we will study the compound microscope, microscopic study of different tissues, structure of different tissues, then identification of bonds, then erythrocytic sedimentation rate, that is ESR, then blood group identification, blood pressure measurement, WBC and RBC count, all these things we will do in the practical part of physiology, human anatomy and physiology 1. So that's it, the first subject. Now we will move to the second subject that is pharmaceutical analysis 1, theory part. In theory part of pharmaceutical analysis 1, we have to study different type of titrations, then electrochemical methods of analysis like conductometry, potentiometry, all these things we have to study in the pharmaceutical analysis 1 theory paper. This is one of the important subject in semester 1 pharmaceutical analysis. In practical session we will do limit test, assays, then preparation and standardization of some compounds, all these things we will do in the practical session. So this is the second subject that is pharmaceutical analysis 1. Now we will move to the third subject that is pharmaceutics 1. Pharmaceutics 1. In theory paper of pharmaceutics 1, we have to study different type of dosage forms, then some calculations in pharmaceutics, then prescription handling, how to handle the prescription, what are the parts of the prescription, all these things we have to study this one and also the posology, posology also coming under pharmaceutics 1. These are the important topics coming under pharmaceutics 1. These topics are very important especially for your university exam. Also even after your BPharm, when you are going to the higher education, the exams are there, GPAT exam is there, the NIPRA exams are there, then state entrance examinations are also there. For this all examination, this topic is very important, pharmaceutics 1, posology, calculations, prescription handling, all are very important topics. So you have to study carefully. Now we are moving to the practical session of pharmaceutics 1. Here we will prepare some syrups, some elixirs, then suspensions, then suppositories, all these things we will do in the practical session of pharmaceutics 1. Now we are moving to the next part that is fourth subject that is pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry. Pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry theory part. In theory part, we will study limit test, acid bases and buffers, then gastrointestinal agents, then radio pharmaceuticals, etc. These all things we will study in the theory part of inorganic chemistry, pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry. In practical section, we will do limit test that we have already studied in the theory part that we will do in the practical section and also some test for purity. So that's it fourth subject that is pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry. Now we are moving to the fifth subject that is communication skills. In communication skill, we will study elements of communication, communication styles, then writing, group discussion. In the practical section, we will do pronunciation, then interview handling skills, then presentation skills. All these things we will do in the practical part of communication skills. I already told you the exam for this subject that is communication skill is conducted by the college itself. Now we are going to the sixth subject that is remedial biology or remedial mathematics. Remedial biology is for those candidates who have completed, who have passed mathematics in the plus two or higher secondary school of examination. And remedial mathematics is for those who completed biology in their plus two or higher secondary school. So what are the topics coming under this remedial biology theory part? This is a basic biology so that the candidate should have an idea about the biology terms. The topics coming under remedial biology theory part is the living world, then human digestion, human excretion, human respiration, then reproduction, all these things coming under theory part of remedial biology and also plant part and also plants, photosynthesis, cells and tissues, all this coming under the theory part of remedial biology. In practical session, we will study microscope about the microscope and also 
uh, how to measure blood pressure, then blood group identification, all these things we will do in the practical part of remedial biology. The next one that is the optional that is remedial mathematics that has got only theory paper. The topics coming under remedial mathematics are logarithm, we have to study about the logarithm, then matrices, then differentiation, then integration, all these things we have to study in the mathematics, remedial mathematics theory paper. So that's it, the last subject. I think I covered all the main topics coming under all these subjects. If you want these things in detail, in PDF form, you can download using the link that I have given in the description box. I think this will be very helpful for you and if you have any query regarding these subjects or topics coming under this one, you can ask in the comment section. I will try to answer as soon as possible. And what are the things you have to do is, first of all, subscribe my channel and also press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever I upload new videos. And one more thing, kindly share this video in your college WhatsApp group. Thank you.